Hello, my name is Rajiv Singh Rathor. In this video, I am going to explain you about alternate IP configuration in Windows XP operating system. So, let me start with what is the meaning of this alternate IP configuration and what is the requirement of this IP configuration. Let me start with my slides. Here, alternate IP configuration is a special feature that you can use in Windows XP operating system. Now, what is the meaning? What is the purpose? It's a special static IP address that will work if your system is not able to obtain IP address from your DSCP server. Second, this feature is very useful for those users which are using their laptops Sometimes it happens that suppose in your office you are having a DSCP server and you are taking an IP address from that DSCP. But at home you are having an internet connection that is working with a static IP. So every time when you are moving uh, between office and home you will have to change your IP configuration to work in both situations or in both locations. So what we can do with this alternate IP configuration, we can configure two IP addresses. One that my system will use from DSCP server. Second, I can specify an alternate static IP address. And this address will work only if my system is not able to obtain its IP address from DSCP. By default, system works in this way that whenever it will try to contact your DSCP server and if it is not able to access any address or obtain any address from DSCP it will use an IP address from APIPA range. Let me explain you what is the meaning of this APIPA. APIPA stands for Automatic Private IP Addressing. Automatic Private IP Addressing. So what is the meaning? A window based computer by default it is configured in such a way so that when it is trying to obtain an IP address from the DSCP server and DSCP server is not available in your network or there is some problem it will automatically start using a particular IP address. This range or this address starts with 169.254.0.0 169.254.255.255 This range is known as a PIPA range and it is reserved by Internet Assigned Number Authority INA. And this address is not routable on internet means if my system is using this range so the system will able to communicate with other LAN devices but this address is not routable on internet. But I don't want to use this a PIPA range. I want to configure one static address that will work in situation when system is not able to obtain IP address from the DSCP. This address is known as alternate IP address. To configure alternate IP address on your machine, what are the basic requirement? What are the things that you should know? First, an static address, a particular address that you want to assign your system in absence of IP from DSCP server. Second, the subnet mask for your network. Third, the default gateway for DNS address and WINS server address. Default gateway, DNS and WINS. These are optional configuration. If you want to configure, you can use. Otherwise, you will need IP address and subnet mask. So this is the purpose and reason what is alternate IP configuration. Now it's time. I'm going to show you that how to configure this alternate IP address on Windows XP operating system. I'm using a Windows XP operating system machine. Let me show you. Right now I'm using Microsoft Windows XP professional version with Service Pack 2. And I'm going to configure this alternate IP on this machine. So let me close it. What you will have to do to configure an alternate IP address, just select your My Network Place icon, right click on it, Property, Select your LAN card on which you want to configure this alternate IP setting. Right click, property. Now select your protocol. In our example, it is TCP IP, property. 
here is the option here is the address that we can configure static suppose if my system is not using any IP address from the DSCP I'll have to define one static address here but I want that my system should obtain IP address from the DSCP only so let me select this obtain an IP address automatically option and look at this as soon as you will select this option you will get a new tab here that is alternate configuration if you select static address you will not see this tab if you select obtain IP address automatically tab appears here so I have selected this option that my system will obtain IP address from the DSCP now go to this alternate configuration tab and here you can specify one static address for your network and this address will only work if your system is not able to receive any IP address from the DSCP so let me configure one address here in my example I'm assigning an address here 10.1.1.20 submit mask you can define a default gateway 10.1.1.1 if you want to configure your DNS preferred an alternate DNS server you can configure here if you want to configure a win server address you can define here after configuring all these things click on OK then close and your configuration is over so your system will try to obtain IP address from the DSCP but if there is any problem in the network or in DSCP it will start using your statically configured alternate address this is the way how we can configure an alternate IP address in Windows XP operating system. Thank you.